Conveyor systems play a vital role in material handling. Constant wear and tear can lead to deterioration. In time, this wear can result in faults, reducing system efficiency, increasing energy consumption and causing unplanned and costly downtime. Discover how to operate the SI2 acoustic camera for detecting mechanical faults. Bearings that are in need of lubrication or are developing faults begin to emit excessive noise. The mechanical mode on the SI2 provides three metrics, SPL, crest factor and kurtosis. The SI2 will automatically show bearings that emit more noise than other bearings in the vicinity. This makes it easier to identify the bearings that are likely to be in bad condition. Charge the battery fully before its first use. Plug the battery into the charger until the LED on the charger turns green. Make sure that the battery is inserted into the battery housing. Turn on the camera by pressing the on-off button on the top of the device, then set the mode to mechanical. The bearings that are in bad condition will show a significantly higher SPL dB reading than bearings that are in good condition. As the condition gets worse, the SPL reading is likely to increase further. The comparison should be done using the same filter and distance. Otherwise, the SPL values cannot be directly compared. Crest factor is a measure of the maximum amplitude in a signal compared with the RMS value. The crest factor of the sound signal from healthy bearings is typically around 5. If the crest factor is 6 or above, it is an indication that the bearing might need lubrication or is starting to develop faults. As the faults develop further, the crest factor will increase. But after a certain point, the crest factor might actually begin to decrease. This means that if a bearing shows a very high SPL compared to healthy bearings, but the crest factor is relatively low, the condition of the bearing might already be critical. Kurtosis is a measure of the distribution of the samples in the sound signal. The SI2 shows kurtosis as excess kurtosis, meaning that a healthy bearing will show a kurtosis around zero. A kurtosis of approximately two or above is likely to indicate that the bearing condition is getting worse. It is recommended to always compare the crest factor, kurtosis and SPL of a bearing to healthy bearings of the same type, measured from a similar distance. You can take snapshots and videos of the faults you detect for further inspection and reporting. To take a snapshot, press the snapshot icon and name it. Using the SI2 acoustic camera for mechanical fault detection provides many benefits. The SI2 pinpoints the exact location of potential issues quickly, saving time on diagnosis. The non-destructive inspection method does not require physical contact with the machinery, enhancing operator safety and increasing operational efficiency. The SI2 allows maintenance teams to scan large areas for hidden faults safely and efficiently, even in noisy industrial environments. It minimizes downtime by swiftly identifying faults and preventing critical issues that could lead to unplanned stoppages and production losses. 